everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Meet My Guinea Pigs video. So I've wanted to do this like like forever, ever since I've started this video. But they've been so hard to get to film this video. As like as, as like first I got them, they're quite skitterish and they are still quite skitterish but they have got so much better ever since I've got them. But I'm trying to get them tamer anyway, so I'm just going to get them and show you them. They're eating their dinner at the moment, so I'm just going to get one at a time whilst they're eating their dinner and show you guys them. And it's really late at night as well, it's like 9 o'clock at night. So it's really dark out, but I've got my light on. So hopefully the lighting's okay and hopefully you can see my pics. I think it'll be alright. So without further ado, let's get on with the video, because it's going to take a while. So the first pig that I've got is little miss piggy so i'll just show you her because she's quite skitterish I'm surprised i got her the first one so this is little miss piggy you probably haven't seen her like all at her by herself so she is quite a nervy pig she's always been quite a nervy pig ever since i got her i got her in september two years ago so she's getting on now she's a tortoiseshell um guinea pig she's quite nervy i'm trying to talk quietly actually because i'm talking quite loud aren't i um, she has one pink ear and one black ear, what I find is quite cute. She came with Princess Leia, who I'll show in a minute. But she is a very cute pig, as you can see. Um, there's not really much to say about them, really. Her personality is quite quiet. And, yeah. She's such a cute pig. So, this is, um, Little Miss Piggy. Okay, so, the next guinea pig I've got is Betty B. So, I think I've shown Betty B before on here. So, Betty B is quite a confident pig, really. <laughs> she's finishing off her, whatever she's eating. <laughs> You're getting quite grumpy because I've disturbed you in your dinner. So, um, Betty B is a grey pig. She ha I got her from Pets at Home, from the adoption area. I got her as a baby. I got her two years ago as well, because I got her after Princess Leia and Miss Piggy, like two weeks after. They phoned us up, actually, to ask if we could have her. She had her eyes sewed up. And it's got some quite drill piece, so we're going to go and get that sewn back up um, soon in pets at home. But her personality is like really confident and quite a happy pig, aren't you? Yeah, she's a very noisy pig as well. And she loves her veg, as you can see she's quite big. Yeah, so this is Betty B. She's a very nice colour, she's nice and grey, like with white stripes going through her, like white flickers going through her, it was kind of nice. So this is Betty B. So the next pig I've got is Flo. Flo is a pure black guinea pig with a rosette on her head. It's quite hard to see her because she's quite black. Um, so this is one of my youngest ones. She's my second youngest. I got her from Pets at Home in the adoption area. She was by herself, bless her. And um, she, I got her because obviously you might have seen her quite a lot because Lavender was by herself inside for a bit because it was cold weather. And I thought, why not get another pig for Lavender to be friends with indoors whilst it was winter. So I got little Flo Flo. <laughs> she's quite a um, busy kind of pig. And she's just been bonded into the herd. She doesn't, she does like it, but it's quite a bit overwhelming for her, as I can imagine. But yeah, she loves a noodle. He saw in my last video. They're like best friends. <laughs> so yeah, this is Flo Flo. So the next guinea pig I am showing you is Lady Paniques. So Lady Paniques is a long haired guinea pig. I don't know specifically what breed she is, but as you can see, she only just had a haircut actually. And she's got a lot of fur and she's really big. So yeah, just, just put that out there. That she's a really big overweight pig. Um, and she is my oldest guinea pig through all my guinea pigs, like even the males. I got her with Princess Pepper who sadly passed away last year, I think it was. And she is about five years old. What well, it's getting quite old for like my kind of guinea pigs, what I'm kinda of proud about. Because obviously I've just got into loads of guinea pigs. But yeah, she's the boss of the herd. She likes bossing them around a bit. And if like I introduce a new guinea pig, she'll be the one that tells them that she's the leader, she's the boss. So <laughs> yeah, so she's quite a bossy pig. So yeah, this is Lady Paniques. You lily pig. <laughs> she's a very big pig, aren't you Lady Paniques? Okay, so my next guinea pig is Daisy. Her full name's Daisy May. I got Daisy from a breeder in, 
can't remember where she was. I got her from quite far away. I went away quite a way to get her. And I got Daisy with her mum, who you'll see in a minute. They're quite, they do look identical. But I tell by the ginger on the nose. Daisy has ginger on her nose. What da Beauty Queen doesn't, who you'll see in a minute. Um, Daisy's quite a perky up kind of pig. She likes running around. She loves the outdoors. And she's quite a pig as well, <laughs> as you can see. She's quite large. All my pigs are quite large, if you see them all. Um, so, yeah. This is Daisy May. I've had her for about maybe half a year, so not a full year yet, but she is about a year old and her mum's about two years old now. So she's licking me. So yeah, this is Daisy May. My next pig is Crystal. I got Crystal from a friend of mine who has guinea pigs and she didn't get along with them. So I... Yeah, so I got Crystal not that long ago, like a few months ago, and she's just made my herd complete. She loves cleaning everyone, she looks after everyone very well. She can be quite bossy sometimes, but she is very nice to them. Yeah, she loves the grass and loves food. She is very bossy. So yeah, this is Crystal. I don't want to talk too much about them because I've got quite a few left. It'll be a long video. So this is Crystal and she's a pure white one with lot of rosettes. So my next pig is Princess Leia. So this one is the one that I got with Little Miss Piggy, the first one I showed you. So she's about two years old as I got her two Septembers ago. <laughs> so that's two years, isn't it? Um, she's a pure white guinea pig with a rosette on her head like Flo Flo. And she is quite a nervy pig as well, like Little Miss Piggy and Princess Leia's very nervy pigs that I've had but she is a very lovely pig and she wouldn't be my herd wouldn't be complete if I didn't have her so yeah this is Princess Leia okay so my next pig is Lavender Lavender you probably know really well and you've met her before on this channel but she has grown up so much since my last video if you go along and che check out the meet my Le meet Lavender she has got so much bigger she is a very good pig that's why I couldn't get her, because she was just eating all the veg. She likes grooming me, because me and Lavender have a great bond. She is one of the best guinea pigs ever I've had, because she was in my room for ages. And she just helped me so much. And she is blind, so that's why she was in my room at the beginning. And because it was really cold when I got her, and she was friends with Flo. So, yeah, you probably know Flo very well. Flo? <laughs> you probably know Lavender very well from my bedroom. But, yeah. She's a lily pig. So yeah, she's called Lavender. She has rosettes, she's ginger, beige, white, everything. So this is Lavender. <laughs> she's okay, so me. the next guinea pig I've got is Beauty Queen. So this is Daisy May's mum, who I got from a breeder with Daisy, of course. <laughs> um, so Daisy, uh, Daisy, Beauty Queen is very a nervy pig because she's quite sensitive because obviously she's had a baby and stuff like that. And she is very sensitive over Daisy May because obviously it's her baby and everything. But she is a very nice pig and she has some lovely colours. And as you can tell, she hasn't got a ginger nose like Daisy, so that's how I tell them apart. But she is a lovely pig. As you can tell, she's lovely colours. She's got more ginger on the other side. But yeah, this is Beauty so Queen. The last pig of the herd is Noodle, of course, as you may have seen her in the video before. So I don't need to say much, but she is an alpaca guinea pig, a nice red kind of colour. She's got a very long, having new nudes. Yeah, and she's a very funny character. She's very lively, obviously because she's a baby. But she's so cute. <laughs> I absolutely love her. I think she's going to be the last guinea pig in my herd until, like, obviously I have room. But she's just adorable. <laughs> love her so much. <laughs> So that's news. So moving on to my two boys. This is Hooper. He's a very large pig. He's my biggest pig out of all of them. I don't really know what age they are, but I'd say they're lady, like, younger than Lady Panique's. But he's a nice ginger and with a bit of a white nose, and he's got a rose out on his head as well. And he's friends with Fergus, who you'll see next. And he's a lovely pig. I'm glad I've got them, because they are lovely. So this is Hooper. So this is my last pig out of all of them, out of all 12. So this is Fergus, another boy who's friends with Hooper. 
He's got white, black and a bit of ginger. He's only got one bit of ginger on him, on top of his head. And he is the loveliest pig in the world. He is so friendly and he loves the grass. He'll squeak so loud in the morning just to go on the grass. So, yeah, this is Fergus. His whole name's Angus McFergus. Don't ask where I got it from. Just saw it and I loved it. So yeah, this is Fergus. So I all hope you enjoyed this video. I <laughs> I hope because I've been dying to do this video and I bet you guys out there have been all dying to watch this to see this video as well because obviously I keep getting loads. And I have got 12 overall if you're wondering. And I love them all so much and each one has a different personality, looks different, just everyone's different. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please put a thumbs up if you did and please don't go along and don't please don't forget to go along and subscribe down below if you haven't already. So I'll see you next time. Bye!